Hey, how y'all doing? This is James down at Anglers. Today, I'll show you a little advanced rigging tip to catch yellow perch. Now, for the most part, these fish are only going to spawn certain times of the year. Typically, mid to late March. That's when you're going to do your best, usually now. As rough as rough a spring as we've had, it's gone a little bit later. We've been catching them in April. So, with that being said, we're going to talk about shad darts. That right there is one of the most universal lures in the bay. You can catch yellow perch, white perch, caught freshwater species, crappy trout, etc. on it. Now, it's a simple lure. The most typical lure or way to rig them that you can do would be to do a shad dart and a bobber. Simple as that. So, as you can see, I've got my little leader here already made up, a little proof clinch knot. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, how, how high up should I put the bobber? Well, it's pretty simple. As much as you need to. What I mean by that, so check your depth. If you're fishing three foot of water, only put it down about a foot, foot and a half. If you're fishing five, six, seven foot of water, put it more. Use it accordingly. Now, it's pretty easy to rig a bobber. Um, you know, and again, typically as a rule of thumb, try to gauge water if it's six foot deep, I'll typically put it about three foot down. So, it's pretty simple to put on. So, let's see here. What you gotta do, just pop that like so. Get that under, it's almost like a little clamp, if you will. Wrap that around the time, slide that back, get over and boom. Now, the common assumption with a bobber rig is that you throw it out there and you let it be. Now, when the water's cold, yes, let it be. When you think you're going slow, you're not going slow enough. But on a low pressure system, fish starting to move up, starting a little feeding frenzy, you want to be a little bit more active. So, you're going to cast out, down your channel or point, whatever, whatever you got. Let it sit for about 10 seconds or so. If nothing's happening, pop it a little bit. Bring it a little closer. If nothing happens for another 10 seconds, pop it, bring it a little bit closer. And so on and so forth until you either catch a fish or you got to cast again. Now, as far as baits go, this is where everybody differs. There's some guys that want to put minnows on here. Some guys use grass shrimp, some guys use night crawlers, blood worms. Um, some guys actually use artificials. Um, as a general rule of thumb, typically minnows are going to catch a bigger fish. May not catch as many, but nine times out of ten, especially if there's big females in there, you're going to catch a bigger yellow fish. Now, some days, crash shrimp's the ticket. Um, and obviously, you know, night crawlers and blood worms and that kind of thing have their day as well. Now, I'll show you all a little trick here. It's called the Jamie Abaddon trick. Basically, getting rid of the bobber on a light four to six, maybe even eight pound test outfit. You're just going to go right to your main line. Okay, so you got your six ounce shad dart, whether it be chartreuse, orange, white, whatever you want. So, we're going to come back, we're going to take a one inch Berkeley belt. Okay, doesn't look like much, kind of stinks a little bit, but that's alright, the fish love it. So take this little guy, and you're going to rig it just like you would a twister tail or uh, any other soft plastic. Plate. So, take a lure like such, put it right through the head. Do this without punching myself, that'd be good. About a quarter inch down, slide right through, get it just around, just to where that hair kind of frays up a little bit. Now, a lot of people want to throw this out and do a straight retreat back. You can do it, you'll catch fish. But there's one really good way to work this, okay? Cast this out to your structure, channel, whatever you got. Let it sink down to the bottom. Literally. That's all you gotta do. Just a little bump. Real slow retreat, just getting enough action to literally just flutter in the water like so. You get that? You're gonna catch yellow perch and you're gonna have a great time. And that's my shad dart rig.